hi everyone welcome back today i am going to demonstrate you how to deploy our spring boot application in aws environment one of the service i am using elastic beanstalk crm very very important in aws okay a, uh, elastic beanstalk is one of the fully managed service means you can deploy you can scale the application you can maintain load balancing and it will do database commit everything done by the elastic beanstalk you no need to worry about just from your end we need a jar file for your application it is support applications developed in multiple languages as well including java now which is the one right now we are going to discuss our plan is to deploy our spring boot application into elastic beanstalk environment so that you can access our application okay so to do the development steps what are the steps we need to follow the first step is application should be in the jar file or var file using maven we can able to generate the jar file as well and we need to create elastic beanstalk environment that means in aws we need to follow some steps to perform this second step here and then we need to upload our code into aws environment that is the third step and then in the fourth step when you submit our button what will happen it will capacity provisioning load balancing auto scaling health monitoring everything taken care by elastic beanstalk service you no need to worry about anything once your application is deployed it will provide one domain url using that url you can access our application here today we'll try to deploy this application into our uh, aws environment here to do that activity first i want to create simple hello world spring boot application and then once you are succeeded into aws environment based on your comments so that i can do another video communicating to database as well here we'll see how many of you are trying uh, this in your aws environment also here okay i'm expecting comments who are practicing while watching this video okay now see here i want to create a fresh project spring starter project i am taking here as part of spring starter project i am taking one uh, name of the project now let me uh, create like a spring boot hyphen aws just i want to make this is my application name i am choosing maven java 17 packaging as a jar file remaining all default options choose the next option i am choosing spring web dependency choose the next and then finish okay just i want to create a simple hello world controller whether it is working in our environment or not once you are familiar here connecting to database is also very very easy to deploy our application into elastic beanstalk environment as well okay now here the one important point you should know whenever you are deploying our spring boot application our application should be run one port number it's a mandatory port number that is server dot port the port number is 5000 your aws service that beanstalk is expecting your spring boot application should run on 5000 port number if you use any other port number your application will not work this is the first rule okay now i want to create a simple hello world controller let me create a dot controller package here what i am doing let me create some simple um, hello world controller here hello world controller now let me do uh, public okay i want to return as a string as a data type okay uh, get hello some kind of a welcome message i want to provide okay uh, welcome to java express channel just i want to display some welcome message if whenever you want to access here at the rate trust controller advice and here this is a get api at the rate get mapping sorry not a get exchange i want to use as a get mapping here slash okay hello just i want to use as a hello guys okay now this is your hello well controller is completed and your application is running on 5000 port number now once this step is done now you need to do okay right click maven install it should generate a jar file for your spring boot application okay let it generate the jar file now okay 
once the jar fell let it be download this option in the meanwhile we'll try to perform okay how to create elastic bean stock in aws environment i will explain now just have a look here now this is our aws console environment okay this is my uh, stock home uh, the region where i am using right now if you have a aws account okay one year of free access you can utilize now here in the search bar just type as a elastic okay now see here elastic beanstalk here run and manage web applications click on this option okay here we need to follow some couple of steps it's not a straightforward to do deploy our application here we have an option called create environment here when you click on create environment okay here it is asking web server environment you should choose here you should use your application name like spring boot hyphen aws this is the application name i am using right now okay and if you go to bottom down here uh, automatically environment name will be appended okay just you can ignore all the options here in the bottom i have i need to choose one option called platform see here .NET Core on Linux, Windows Server, Docker, Go language, Node, PHP. All the programming languages are supporting. Right now, I need a Java. Click on the Java here. Now, your Java, right now, I am choosing our application running on Java 17. I am supporting Java JDK 17. This is our Java version. Okay. And then, in the here, you need to upload your source code. Click on upload your code. Here, version label, you can choose as a V1 here local file i want to choose my application into where i generated my jar file now see here spring boot hyphen aws service if you go to target directory i have a jar file see this is the jar file i am using right now click open now the file name is uploaded now here if you go to bottom down here we are using free tier eligible if you create every aws account as a free okay you will get instance of okay a uh, one year of service you can access our application you can choose a single instance here choose the next option okay and here for the first time if you are doing we should create a service role see create and use new service role for the first time so here automatically one role will be created to deploy our application and the second option is internally this elastic beanstalk is working on ec2 instance rdbms R, rds database and s3 bucket is internally using so it need a permission see ec2 instance profile as of now i don't have any permissions here okay i need to create a role iam role i should create it here to do that activity okay here choose control in the keyboard and here what i can do let me open another tab let me open aws console one more time here i want to search okay one role called iam service okay now that is uh, aws is providing iam see manage access to aws resources click here when you click left hand side we have an option called roles okay click on the roles tab here we have an option called create a role choose the role and here you choose aws service the use case here i am using as a ec2 instance is nothing but a permission okay and choose a, here choose ec2 option click on the next option and here you should provide for permissions here ec2 full access see here amazon ec2 full access choose this option okay and then do the next option here you should provide some name so what i can do aws ec2 ec2 full access full access underscore elastic beanstalk just i written some name for our understanding purpose here okay some role name i given and once you done click on create a role now role is created now if you go to here choose your refresh option one role is appear here choose this option okay now choose the next option okay 
Now here, VPC, I want to create a virtual private cloud. I am using default VPC here. Let me choose the default VPC as well. And then here, where you want to run your application. Whenever you're choosing VPC, it will be run on US North 1, North 1C, 1B, availability zones. I want to run my application all availability zones because my application should be run 99, 100%, okay? With zero downtime, no one, uh, I should not get any issues when accessing our application so that everyone can able to access if you deploy on the more regions. Right now, our application is, there is no database right now, later on time will integrate based on Okay, your practice. Okay, so right now I'm not enabling any database concept here and choose the next option. Okay, now see, you don't need to modify anything. Just click on the next option. Remaining all our default options I am choosing right now. Okay, just go ahead in the bottom, click on the next. So, the creation time, it will take 15 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes as well, guys. Okay. Now, click on submit button. Let it done, this activity. Submit. Yes. Now, see here. Now, Elastic Beanstalk is launching your environment. It will take few minutes. When I say uh, it may take uh, 15 to 20 minutes, it will take okay to set up this application here. Okay, let it run this application in the meanwhile. Okay, so let me see here. Uh, here it is running and the jar file is also generated. The same jar file I uploaded into in this Spring Boot AWS environment here. Okay, even you suppose if you have a new version after deploying this application, you made some code changes into your application. Like assume that, see here, inside this application, what I will do, hello world controller, I want to write a another API. Okay, I want to write a another API, suppose a hello one. Okay, hello one. When I access hello one, I should get successfully, successfully Spring Boot, application deployed in aws elastic bean okay stop some this is a newer version go to your form.xml file i want to change my version 0.0.2 .0 now this is my version here okay now let me generate a jar file either you can generate a jar file by using maven install or Directly, you can do in command prompt as well. In the command prompt clean package also, you can do that. Right now, right click, run as. Okay, first let me clean the directory. It will remove the target directory first and then it will generate a new jar file. Right now, I deployed into first version. Once it is successfully done and then will deploy it into second version as well, whether it is deploying or not. Okay, now right click, run as Maven, install here. Okay, uh, guys, even we are starting one new, okay, a real-time Java project, microservices development, we are going to start on tomorrow onwards. If anyone interested, so this is our Zoom link, you can register for demo session, AWS DevOps tools and React.js integration, including microservices development. So this is our contact number for more information here guys so directly you can join just you need to register two days demo sessions we have if you are interested you can even we are starting java full stack as well for who are all interested reach out to this contact number in the whatsapp where in aws where we are discussing about our, uh, relational database kubernetes okay jenkins sonar docker kubernetes all the integration devops tools with our real time project how you can integrate Okay, we are going to starting this batch from tomorrow onwards. Don't miss this opportunity as well. Okay. And see, my build is success. Now, that's good. Now, right now, second version is also ready now. Uh, here, uh, your application is still taking some time to deploy our application. First, we'll verify. Now, let me refresh here. Okay. Now, see here, in the bottom, you can able to see the status. 
okay so almost okay we started our application see here successfully launched environment aws hyphen env how to access your application see this is the domain url click this option okay see here white label error page 404 it is saying url is not found here just append slash hello now you can able to see our message see welcome to java express channel now this application is running now you want to deploy the new version how you can do that here we have an option called upload and deploy click this option and choose the file choose the second version this is the second version click open okay and version label if you want you can change the version as well choose the deploy guys once you are done who are all able to deploy your application please leave your comment so that i can do how you can communicate to database as well guys okay now it is successfully uploaded created application version and started deployment with new application version that means deployment is done it is saying okay now what i can do let me refresh one more time and uh, it is still doing elastic beanstalk is updating your environment to cancel abort the option as of now keep it like that now just will verify hello one let me enter okay still our application is deploying okay it's see the hello one is still not at available why because still it is in the uh, running mode hello one right now let me refresh here bad gateway that means your application still is deploying it is taking some time few minutes and then we'll test with our newer version as well okay if you need immediate updates guys this is our telegram group okay this is our official telegram group uh, you can join with instant updates or telegram group updates course updates interview questions and everything as well this is the telegram group as well guys and this is our youtube channel hope everyone aware about our channel here if you see lot of videos are available if you want to learn any uh, even core java we started here click on the playlist option okay just you can go through based on your requirement which videos are required to you just go through these videos guys okay now we'll verify here let me refresh see successfully spring boot application deployed into elastic beanstalk environment here okay hope you guys are clear once this is completed okay just please go ahead click on this option and action terminate your environment here make sure you should do this activity guys okay now let me do why i am unable to do okay let me terminate properly let me provide okay see terminate here so after a few minutes maybe five to ten minutes completely your environment will be terminated completely in your system here oh successfully we deployed our application and we'll uh, do next session for database with elastic beanstalk as well guys we'll see how many likes how many comments we'll get for this video thank you thank you everyone